Over 8 million people signed up under the Affordable Care Act, but some are now finding their new health care coverage lost in translation. There is a growing shortage of interpreters, and in states like California, where 40 percent speak a language other than English at home, the prognosis is not good. Here's Bagad Shaban. Buenas, ¿cómo estamos? At this South Los Angeles clinic, the Affordable Care Act has helped fill the waiting rooms. Community Relations Director Mario Chavez says the surge is leading to a critical shortage of interpreters across the state. We've seen an influx of 1,000 patients per week. And of those, how many are non-English speakers? About 70 percent of those folks are not non-English speakers. Dr. Joanna Choi has been practicing in California for five years. At times, how long would you have to wait for a translator? At best, 30 minutes. At worst, up to two or three hours. Emily, can you come translate for me, please? Dr. Choi says too often patients rely on family members to translate. That's one of the biggest no-nos. Oftentimes they summarize things in an attempt to convey information faster, but that actually loses a lot of the detail that we need to make decisions in clinic. Chavez worries the strain could get worse with the spike in insurance signups among non-English speaking patients. What's at stake? Healthcare, people's lives people's well-being. In California, some relief may come from a bill now before the state legislature that would add 7,000 licensed medical interpreters. There are currently just 800. Does she take any medicines normally? Toma medicamento normalmente? No. Okay. Dr. Choi has heard 11 different languages in her exam room. How difficult is it to give your patients the care they need when you can't understand each other? It's almost impossible. Until the state and the federal government step in and provide some type of interpretation system, unfortunately, I think it's up to each provider, hospital, clinic to, in, in the meantime, I guess, bear the burden, right? And to put on a Band-Aid until a cure arrives. Begat Chaban, CBS News, Los Angeles.